Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. Last time we went to um, every beach in the world. It was awesome. Too bad it was all misty and we couldn't actually enjoy any sunrays. Anyways, this time around we're going to be going and fighting one of the optional bosses. And beforehand, I'm going to show up my setup right now. So, um, the only major thing uh, to make note of right now in the equipment is that I have ribbons on everybody. Because this boss has a... Uh, water uh, has water-based magic so uh, it's, it's going to absorb the water and actually do yeah, heal me instead um, uh, I went and bought another one off screen at the uh, auction uh, for oh, I can't even remember how much it was 70 something 75600 or something like that 75,600 or something. Something like that. Something like that. Anyways, um, so I got uh, Zidane, Eiko, Freya, and Quina. Um, they are all basically set up with their strongest equipments in the uh, everything else, and then just ribbons across the board. Uh, the major thing to make note of in this is the uh, abilities here. Uh, besides auto haste and auto regen and half MP. Uh, Half MP for both the mages and um, Zidane and Freya both have counter and eye for an eye, as well as the thief skills for Zidane. Uh, everybody has antibody and clear headed on because this boss has uh, poisoning techniques and confusing techniques. Uh, and uh, Bright Eyes is on Freya and Zidane because they're the only two that have it, and uh, Loudmouth is on these two, on the two mages, so that they don't get. Uh, Silenced. Uh, that's basically all you need to know, and then I had some extra practice plus two. But uh, yeah, you just want to cover as many of those. You don't have to worry about stone. He doesn't use stone. He doesn't use stop. He doesn't put you to sleep. Uh, pretty much anything that's not covered will be able to be healed by Quina with uh, Angel Snack. And uh, this boss will also cause mini, which we can also reverse not only with Angel Snack, but we can also reverse it with. Uh, mini itself like we have the mini magic as well so we can just cast mini on whoever had it and it will actually reverse it uh so that's the basic setup here we're just going to walk in here and st and eat our 99th frog and then we're going to move in oh it's going to be the last time i show this off sure we can do this for a little while now which frog should i go eat uh gotcha 99 frogs. You working hard, Quina. Now the time, Quina. You on your own from now on. You train to become ultimate command alone. Master Quail, before you go, you take final test. Alrighty, here we go. The optional boss battle versus Quail. He has the most HP in the game at 66,000, and uh, this this is he is a water magic user as well as a status ailments user. Uh, basically, the entire thing is going to be Freya is going to be using Dragon Qu uh, Crest because all the training I've done has maxed it out to 9999, at least with the other things. At least with the dragons, I'm assuming it'll. I'm assuming, I, since it's doing so much there, it's going to... Yeah, it's going to continue doing all its damage here. Um, Magic Hammer is going to be very helpful in this to remove as much of the uh, pain of the magics as possible. Ha! <laughs> it healed me! <laughs> Stole Ninja Gear. Good. Holy crap, that did 2,000 damage. I'm not going to be using too many Dragon Quests right now, and I'm kind of leaving... Echo out right now and not using anything. I guess I can use Might on Zidane for after he's finished stealing. Uh, Might increases the attack power. Uh, do, do, do. But yeah, he doesn't actually have as much ma uh, MP as you might think, so you can actually drain his MP and make him completely useless except for his rolling attack. Confuse, which we are impervious to. Uh, he may use any status ailment he tries to inflict. He may inflict it on one person. He may inflict it on all the party. So you have to be kind of careful about that. Um, I'm going to hold out because I do have counter on. And I just don't want to... I just don't want to... Uh, uh, accidentally ki uh, kill him. Before I steal the fourth item here. 
Okay, come on. Yes, use your silence. Who are you using it on? As long as it's not for... Oh, it's on the entire party. Okay, so I think I'm going to be... Hey! Cool! Did I just really just... I can't... Did I steal them all in the first try? Um... Honestly, I can't remember now. I think that's all of them. I'm going to try stealing again. Because <laughs> I can't remember if I stole one of the... If one of the times failed or not. Um... Yeah, oh, okay, never mind. Okay, good. He didn't, I didn't miss him, something. Good thing I tried again, because I was thinking that was the last item. Hey, thanks for the health. Yeah, so properly preparing for this battle makes it pretty... Whoa, hello, I think that was the last item. Um, Aqua Breath is his other water attack. Uh... I am double checking just to make sure because I have actually lost track. I'm pretty sure that was the fourth item, but yeah, it doesn't have anything. Okay, we're going for the kill. So we are going to continue with the dragon. Uh, da -da -da. We're not even going to bother draining the MP. I think we're just going to use frog drop. Uh, darkness on them. We're just going to attack with Sedane and Echo is going to use holy. Boom. Yeah, so if you pro properly prepare for this fight, it's pretty easy. Uh, Dragon Crest, especially with Dragon Crest. Uh, you could substitute Freya for Steiner and use Shock, because that should be using, like, that should be doing, like, Quadruple Nine as well. Um, it's just uh, Shock. Uh, if Steiner goes mini, Shock will actually. Uh, do the less damage. It actually gets affected by mini, so... Oh yeah, Frog Drop, that's what I was looking for. Uh, but I don't think Dragon Crest is actually affected by it. So that's why I prefer Freya right now. Um, but yeah, that's kind of cool. We got a Robe of Lords. It's actually... Queena has the Robe of Lords on right now. Because um, uh, Robe of Lords actually upgrades the magic and the physical attack, so... It's kind of useful. There he goes! That was kind of anticlimactic, but I prepared for that really well. Okay, that's pretty cool. I, ha I know have more to teach you. I give you this. Received Gastro Fork! Thank you, Master Quail. I train more! So you can actually start eating more frogs, I think, and still power up frog drop even more. Yeah, 100. So yeah, anything right now is just butter, but that was the last item you get, because that is actually Queena's uh, final ultimate weapon. That's her best. His, her. Her, his. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I was actually kind of expecting more for that fight, to be honest. I wasn't actually expecting that to go that smoothly. Excellent! 105 frogs. So yeah, you can keep farming these thing places to actually get more, but whatever. Yeah! I was actually expecting that to take a little bit longer, too. Mainly I was hoping the stealing would actually go out, but it looks like I'm going to cut this episode short, because that's all I wanted to do this episode. Uh, anyways, before we go... Uh, Queena... Gastrofork! Yeah, so all her weapons, his, her weapons have... Hi oh, what did I just do? Okay, no, I did, okay. okay we're good. All his or her weapons have high tide on them. Which is kind of overkill, because if you haven't learned it by now, you've never used Queena in battle. <laughs> Uh-huh. But, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Next time, I'm not sure what we're doing. We're, either, we're probably going to move on in the story into where we're supposed to be going. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I might not. I don't know yet. See you guys then.